So if you've been following the mess that the Republican Party is currently in, allow me to give you an update if you are not, or at least where we are at this moment in time when we did this video. So you may remember, of course, they had a speaker called Kevin McCartney, who to get that position did essentially a deal with the devil, with the absolute crazy lunatics in his party, that one person, yes, just one person who decided, hmm, no, I don't like you anymore, could just pull the ejection lever and just completely eject him as speaker. And that is exactly what happened. He lasted less than a year with that deal. And the thing was, there was no plan going forward. No plan whatsoever. All because McCartney did a deal with the Democrats to assure that there was going to be at least some form of budget going forward. <coughs> and now, you've had, at this moment in time, we've had two votes for Jim Jordan, the guy who wants to be Speaker, the guy who wants to put forward a ton of other crazy Republican nonsense. Um, the guy who has another of, well, shall we say, uh, interesting allegations out of him. Uh, like I say, you can go look those up. But, of course, the other thing that's interesting was he also was heavily involved in the uh, January the 6th, apparently. So, yeah, sounds like a perfect guy you want to be to be Speaker of the House. And because they cannot decide, because they cannot even agree on some of this stuff that he wants to do, he lost his second vote. Bear in mind, he lost by 20 in the first round. He lost by 22 in the second vote. And if there is a third vote, there's rumours of some Republicans coming forward, he would lose by at least 10 or more. Because he has turned off more and more Republicans for voting for him. And we've said before, this is a mess of their own making. But the question we are going to ask today, because we're going to leave the mess of the of the Republican Party over there for the time being, and come back to our own current UK Conservative government and ask them the same question. Can they actually learn any lessons from this Republican mess and maybe sort themselves out? By the way, the TDLR is, no, they can't. <laughs> but <coughs> we'll get into that in a moment. So, what are we going to uh, talk about today, or at least when we get into it today? Uh, please do remember to click on the like, share, and subscribe button. And of course, down below, there are links to my Patreon page and a one off station link called Buy Me Coffee, where you can, well, buy me coffee. There is, of course, the YouTube thank you button, and of course, the Pony Club down below as well. So, let us get out our crystal ball today. We're going to go crystal ball guessing. How on earth could our conservatives somehow learn from this mess and maybe not fall into the same? trap of just being the absolute worst <laughs> just time and time and time again well <laughs> here's how it goes so there are two instances where everything could just absolutely blow up and the first is the upcoming budget you've had Liz Truss release her quote alternative budget the budget the reality that every true conservative should want. <laughs> um, far be it from it. Of, of course, it's more of the same nonsense we saw when we did her mini-budget. And as we always said, if a mini-budget nearly crashed the UK economy and destroyed the UK pensions industry, why on earth would you ever allow Liz Truss to do an actual full-on budget? So there's now serious questions of whether... At this budget vote, they will take this as a vote of confidence. That they will set out their stall and try and get Conservatives to vote against the, the budget. Now, to pass this budget, they only need, um, I think it's an absolute majority, which is basically like half the Conservative Party to vote for the budget. It's not a lot, really, to get it over the line. Uh that's why, like, like I say, most budgets in the UK always pass without any sort of hindrance, and then, of course, other reasons as to why as well. But it's a very low sort of threshold. But if you've got a very weak and conservative party, one party that cannot even agree what the right hand is doing with the left, <laughs> um, 
you've got a party that is in chaos, unable to do anything, unable to pass really anything, and a prime minister who is trapped by various different interests of the party pulling him in different directions. And of course, when he's pulled in one direction, the other group gets annoyed and he gets pulled in the other. It's not a very, shall we say, good way to govern. They are in an absolute mess. And if this budget from Liz Truss does become, or at least the budget itself, does become seen as a vote of confidence, could we have a situation where we see the Conservatives not pass a budget because they wanted to send a message to Lishi Sunak that we do not have confidence in you? Now, that will have, as we've said, economic consequences absolutely will have economic consequences uh but like i say the uk conservative party really doesn't care it really does not care on so many fundamental levels at this moment in time the other one of course will come later when they lose the general election and oh boy uh, the first thing Rishi Sunak will do is he will resign and he will run for the hills because he ain't going to stick around. He ain't going to stick around. And then that's when the true fighting will take place. And I think you will see a resurgent Liz Truss become leader of the Conservatives in opposition and start pushing all this crazy nonsense, which will, of course, upset all these other factions, they'll be in absolute disarray, they'll just be constantly in fighting with each other um, and as we've said before we will have this opportunity of possibly at least a decade if we're or more, if we're lucky if it becomes that bad, which I suspect it will be, um, we will have a decade, if not more of being able to do a load of really good progressive policies and stuff in Parliament because the Conservatives will be just in such a disarray that they, they, they just can't function. And that gives us, as we've talked about before, the massive opportunity to do a ton of stuff. Because I really do believe that in the next parliament, we will get a very big progressive majority made up of a lot of people from Labour, a lot of people from uh, the Lib Dems as well. And we will start to see Labour push, go, and more and more progressive. I, I really do think that. Because you have a lot of very progressive people in the Labour Party currently who want to go in that direction, who want to do these things. Now, at the moment, they're trying to get elected. As we've always said, once you're elected, that's when you can actually start to do things. So we'll see the direction which we which we end up going, but I am very hopeful that we will go in that progressive direction. Now, of course, this comes to the ultimate question now. Will the UK Conservatives learn anything from the Republican mess that's going on in America? The question is, is absolutely no. Just like the uh, Republicans, the UK Conservatives are trapped in this ideological uh, fixation where they cannot stop to look for a second and even question their own ideals or, or even values that they're trying to do or even are these policies actually going to be good for you know what we're passing uh, you know it might be good for now but what about in 5 10 15 years or so are they going to be any you know long term effects and they don't care because their ideology says if you follow this crazy ridiculous free market fundamentalist libertarian route, which is what our current conservatives are on, everything should be going along swimmingly. And if you don't believe me, go listen to any of Liz Truss's speeches that she has made uh, after she lost the premiership. She still believes her whole budget was, was the right thing to do. And um, yeah, soon we're going to see this alternative budget. And I'll, I'll have to say, it'll be funny to see when that happens, when that drops. So, ultimately, as we said, the answer will be no. The UK Conservatives will not learn anything from the mess going on. The Republicans, they will not, at, at one point at all, take any chance to reflect or to see what the current state of the UK is and say that, oh, actually, a lot of these problems are our fault. Maybe we should think about other ways to do them. But, of course, no. Uh, we've seen this with, with immigration. It, you know, whether hard rights, uh, shall we say, policy doesn't work well double down go hard right more hard right more hard right more where we're now at the point of sending people to Rwanda but that's the current state of the UK and as we've always said the quicker we get them out the better 
So if they do end up, uh, shall we say, using the budget as a vote of no confidence, well, it just allows us to remove them just a bit faster. So, hey, uh, as always, uh, thank you very much uh, for watching. And of course, as always, we'll see you all next time.